Since its incorporation in 1981, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society has canvassed many of the world's oceans and saved thousands of defenceless marine wildlife. Sea Shepherd maintains strong vigilance over controversial shark culling methods off Western Australian coastlines. Shannon Doherty and Charmed co-star Holly Marie Combs are amongst the many voices crying out to save our sharks. How do you feel about the shark cull kill zones? Um, I'm very much opposed to it. We, we both are. It's why we just spent a uh, couple hours, couple of hours <laughs> out on the Bruce with our lovely host um, to, to look at it and see what was going on and to educate ourselves and hopefully to bring some awareness and education to others as well. It's not humane and, uh, you know, uh, we're supposed to be humane and we're supposed to have compassion for all living things not just for you know humans and and yet we do this cruel practice it's it's pretty barbaric in my opinion western australia is a pristine tourist location due to its rolling landscapes and beautiful beaches however this identity is being rocked by what many view as the senseless slaughtering of sharks and other marine life to read about it and to see pictures is one thing, but to actually be out there and see what the lines are and what they do is really far more horrifying. There's no scientific evidence to show that this is going to make people safer. It's just not. It's been tried before and it's failed before. So watching all of these taxpayer dollars go into this huge boat with this huge crew trolling back and forth all day long just trying to pick up something sizable is astounding to me. Sharks throughout the world are, are becoming endangered, certain species very much endangered. Uh, they're slow to reproduce most shark uh, species. We don't know enough about them. The evidence is that we're losing 80 to 100 million sharks a year uh, globally. Uh, a lot of that is for the shark finning in industry. If you lose the apex predators, it upsets the whole balance in the ocean. And they are the animals that should be protected above all, all others. We have to think about all the other things that they may possibly be catching. Dolphins, whales, um, all sorts of, of wildlife. And, and it's just, it's not right and it's really not necessary. Will our tourism dollar plummet under the inhumane images of continuing shark killings now representing our state to the world? Organizations are now calling for a boycott of Western Australia. They say don't go, don't, vi don't visit, which I think would be devastating. I don't really understand how it's better business for beachgoers to see a boat, which you can see from the shoreline, as we saw today, pull up a huge animal out of the ocean. Like, how does that make them feel safer when you're basically creating a bait zone of blood and thrashing that's attracting more of these animals to where you want the people to go. The ocean is, is theirs, it's not ours, and um, we just seem to keep on taking over everything, don't we? And if something threatens us in any way, shape, or form, our solution to that is to kill it. I think there's a very delicate balance to the ocean, and I think humans have messed with it for so long that there's going to be devastating consequences that this kind of method is only going to worsen. Despite the state government's continued use of the drum lines, Sea Shepherd continues to patrol marine protected waters off our shores in relentless effort to conserve these magnificent creatures. Melissa Gurney for Undercurrent.